What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Lazy Boy and today I'm back at Walmart looking for that um that Genghis Frog variant just because I want it. And the reason I'm not being as loud for my intro is because I'm in set I'm in public. No, they do still have these soap and scrub mutant mayhem little wash your body thingies. I kinda want one still because he's a little silly. Okay, so I'm in the children's like bedding aisle and look what they have. They have this little four piece full sheet thing. I don't know. That's sick. They have this big, um, okay, two-piece comforter set. I might have to get this, actually. This is really cool. I want me and mayhem sheets. Oh, blanket. What kind of design is it? That's just lame. But still, though, I'd check it out. And then, this is also kind of lame, but I'd still get it. Damn! These are the prices. Not too bad. Oh, and they also got the giant, um, pillow buddies down there. That's cool. But it's cool seeing Ninja Turtles merchant stores again. That's awesome. I guess not a lot of people joined that contest. And then they still have a bunch more Meat and Mayhem Monopolies here. They're like stacked on these still. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm in the toy aisle, and so far this is the only TMNT classic figure I could find was Wingnut. And they have a couple, actually a lot of Movie Star Turtles. They have rafts, they have, they have like three rafts, two Mikeys, and just a bunch of Leos. No Donnies for some reason. And they're all stocked up on here. And they're just, actually, yeah, look, they're stacked up on, look at all these. Look at these. I have, I have Raph and Leo. I did that in an uh, old video, but I'm still missing Mikey and Donnie. So, oh, I might just bite the bullet on this and buy them, but, oh, snap, I see some figures back here. I see the four turtles, so it's, it's not, <gasps> okay, already, um, me, where do I put this? There's, there's so, too much overstocked. Uh, we found the variant of Genghis, and the original variant, this, the, the green one. I don't, I don't know what to do. Set that right there. Uh, we have Genghis here, Mikey, Mikey, Raph. It's really hard to find anything, because they're so stocked up. Um, that's all Mikey's, Mikey's, Leo. Um, I think, I think the only mutant character they have is Genghis Frog, because I'm not seeing anything back there. And then, if I look, Donnie, Donnie, oh, I found one singular Superfly, and that's not, okay. Okay, so I managed to fix up the entire aisle. I put everything where it's supposed to go. The Donnies go to Donnie, Leo goes with Leo, Mikey's go there, except Scumbug. I found this Scumbug. It was hidden right there. I was thinking, oh man, that box got crushed. That sucks. Uh, there's a bunch of... Okay, so like I was saying, they have like um, another Genghis Frog here. Along with it, I just dropped Scumbug, but there's Wingnut back there too. And Scumbug, I think I'm just going to put him up, her up here with the rest of Wave 2. There's also this, these two scumbugs down here. These are the, the newer green variants and that one singular superfly. I hope some kid gets that because that's a really great figure. Um, there's the, the party pack, a bunch of giant Leos, and that giant Mega Mutant down there. Um, I'm per I already have Mega Mutant, so I'm not going to get that. I'm still contemplating getting the Genghis Frog variant, though, because there is also like the greener one back here behind Scumbug. I don't know what to do. Should I get this or this version? Like, should I get the lighter one because that'll be rarer over time? Or should I get this one because I don't have it yet? And so on the Transformer side of thing, um, the only really new thing I see here besides Studio Series RC, and even that figure's old, is um, Terran Jawbreaker from Transformers Earthspark. I actually really like Earthspark. Not a lot of people do, but I do. They also have this Starscream. Are these figures new? I could have sworn they were new, but it could just be me. And also they got Wheeljack and Swindle. They need to start focusing more on the Deluxes, because I want more Deluxe characters, not not these whatever one-step flip changers. Also, what's the difference between um, Warrior Class and Deluxe Class? Because, like... What's, what what warrants the the five dollar price difference? Y'all, they got the Planet of the Apes trilogy on Blu-ray. I kind of really want it, and they got 2012 on Blu-ray too. Y'all, Transformers the movie movie sucked. Oh, they got these things. I I want one really bad, but at the same time, these eh, they have more of these things too. And what? Oh, these are the the the, the two pack or the figure with vehicle things that they're doing for the IDW comics. That's okay. Do they have Leo? Uh, I'll set this up here. Uh, Raph, Raph, and eh, it's just Raphs. Uh, here they have their, I guess, Steelbooks, I guess? Well, there's one Shrek there. It's all 4K and Blu-ray movies. But a lot of these are Steelbooks. Like, like this. The Out of the Shadow Steelbook that I bought. Okay, I know for a fact this is new. This movie was mid, but you all aren't ready for that conversation yet. This art is sexy, though. I love I love the art on this, this Steelbook. I, I might have to get this, because, oh my god, I love Steelbooks. But, we'll see. Okay, y'all, I did not see this, but look, they have the Spider-Man No Way Home 
like villain thing. It's really hard to see because of all the glare. But yo, I might have to get that. Actually, never mind. I don't like Funko Pops, but still, that's super cool to see. They've got plenty of Oppenheimer here. I don't see what the big deal is with getting copies out. Mm -hmm. They also have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Meet Mayhem cereal. I really like this cereal. It's actually really good. So definitely make sure to check it out. They also still have a couple of Meat and Mayhem pizzas, so um, check those out. They're actually pretty alright, actually. They're not that good. Actually, they're still better than these, though. These suck. These are the worst pizzas I've ever had in my life. Y'all, at Walmart, you can get Meat and Mayhem cakes. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm at Ross, because I didn't end up getting anything at Walmart. But look what I found. Rise the TMT headphones. They're like six bucks, too, and they have like, I think, three pairs? One, two... Yeah, they have... Two more pairs, but I already have a pair on my shelf, so I don't need these, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to pass on Rise merch. Oh, that hurts my soul. Okay, y'all, so I had to unfortunately pass on that Rise merch. Um, I already have a pair on my shelf at home. I'll show you guys right here, or I'll show you guys at the end of this video. But um, unfortunately, I had to pass on that. But um, and on Genghis, I'm just gonna wait till the end of the holidays for that. Um, I'm gonna check out this little like Black Friday-ish store. You guys know what the ones I'm talking about? Like ones that look like this. Um. I'm just gonna check it out and see what's what. I still have a bunch of time to kill. Because my next, my next bus doesn't get here till 3. So, uh, let's see what's what. Y'all, yo, you cannot imagine how upset I am. Because look at this, look at this. Thursday closed for restocking. I'm recording this on Thursday. And they're closed. That's so sad. The one day I need to actually come here just because I have free time. I can't. That's so sad. And also, fun fact about this building. It actually used to be a PetSmart. And then they, tend, they turned it into this after COVID because they lost so many sales after that. So it became this. And <sighs> you should have stayed at PetSmart. At least maybe then I'd actually show up. <laughs>